All right, let's dive into the magical major scale. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna record this loop and I'm gonna explain different things you can do with the major scale. It's gonna be in the E tonality. Let's do it. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna introduce the actual scale. the sequence and keep this going on one string with the diatonic triads that you can create on that scale. First degree, seventh degree, sixth degree, fifth degree. Let's do it again. Now let's go up in the diatonic degrees. out of those. That's the second degree. Third degree. Fourth degree will be A. Fifth degree would be B. Sixth degree would be C sharp minor. Seventh degree. Let's add the 9 into the tonality of E. It's going to be an E9 arpeggio. seven in there as well. That's the major seven right there. That D sharp is a half step below the root. Let's combine the major seven with the nine. start adding some chromatic movements into that. So the way you do that is you start creating notes that fall between the chord tones. Chromatic approaches. Root goes to the third goes to the root goes to the five goes to the third. You can also do that on different inversions and also on different degrees of that scale. For example, root position with chromatics. Let's put some open strings in there.
those open strings sound really good in the key of E because E is the root and B is the 5. Very cool. Now let's just jam a little bit. So now I'm kind of getting into this rhythmic vibe here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Creating odd numbers can create tension. Just like when you use different sounds, different notes, that can create tension. Same goes for different odd rhythmic ry rhythms. One, two, three, four, five, 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 one, two, three, four, five. So these are called double stops. Now if I'm going to add some triplets, that's going to that's going to create some nice rhythmic contrast. ongoing journey. And my approach is that whatever you learn, you should go right away and create music with it. And this is just the beginning. Now, if you really want to understand everything I showed here, including the different chromatics, different triads, arpeggios, add nines, how to create music with the major scale, and even go beyond with more advanced techniques, make sure to check out my Galactic Modern Guitar series. The link for that is in the description below. Now, if you want to check out a cool video about how to improvise with minor chords, make sure to check out this video over here where I loop a cool vamp in minor and then explain about different techniques that you can use to improvise over minor chords. Check it out. <laughs>